Hi there, it's a Dutch for a and welcome to this brand new The Sims 4 Speed World. So today I'm building a house called Villa Perspective in The Sims 4, which is a super cool, super interesting build if you ask me. It turned out to be crazy and actually I've had to divide this build up into two parts. This is the first epi episode obviously and there's actually two reasons why I have had to uh, divide it up. Firstly because this build would actually be like 20 uh, or 35 minutes if I wouldn't have sped it up. So therefore it was, uh, personally I would never watch a 35 minute video, so I thought, you know, I'm just going to divide it. And actually, personally for me, it was way more convenient to divide it up as well, because otherwise I would only be able to upload this in like 5 days, simply because I'm super busy at the moment. And uh, I don't have enough time to just, you know, smash that entire video all at once. I really have to divide it up into small parts and I have to like sort of make a division between studying for my exam and creating this video. That's sort of the vision that I've been living with the past couple of days. Um, but it's cool because in the end, the um, house actually turned out to be super in like interesting, if you ask me. As you can see, I've started working with the shutters here, which is definitely like the main ongoing theme for this build. Um, and as you know, shutters is really my thing, and therefore this is a house I really like. And it's modern, which is something, I, yeah, okay. You don't often see shutters the way I use them in houses which are not modern. So this is like shutters are simply a thing. Shutters or blinds, I never really know what to call them, but generally in my videos, I call them shutters. So that's what I'll, yeah, maybe blinds is actually better. Well, I'll just combine those every now and then, I guess. But um, yeah. What was I talking about? I've literally completely forgot about it. But anyways, I just want to make sure that you know that this speed world is divided up into two parts, which you probably don't really find a problem because now you've got two videos and something to look forward to. The second video is probably going to be up in like three days, three or four. Generally, I tend to try do my best to, if I divide a video up into two parts, to upload it as soon as I can, which is the same or at least the same counts for this time. I'll do my best to upload it as soon as I can, but I know that I will not be uploaded, be able to upload it super soon. So um, just stay tuned for it. And also make sure that you follow me on Instagram, which is generally a good idea because I really like to uh, upload many photos of like trips I go on and previews, um, which I upload in my stories. So be sure to follow me. It's at that Sims Master, and the link is also in the description. And I'm super uh, close to 3,000 uh, followers. So, you know, just a little pitch for myself, but in that way, you're also, um, you can also stay up to date with when the second part will be online. Um, so yeah, the reason it took quite some time before I could upload a video was because I have been studying for exams, like I said, and generally been busy with university stuff, but I did want to upload a video. So every now and then when I had some free time, I actually went into the, into the Sims and I started creating a small build, but for some reason I didn't really have enough inspiration to do a small build or just I didn't have enough inspiration for a small build. So I ended up with nothing all the time. And literally in the time that I've spent like staring at my sc screen to come up with something, I could have done like a big build, which yeah, the only reason I didn't want to do a big build was because it would take too much time. But in the end, that wasn't actually the case because I had no idea what to do for a small build. So that took like a lot of time as well. Um, but I seriously had like some kind of designer block, I guess, um, which doesn't really scare me too much, you know, considering I'm becoming an architect, I should maybe be scared of the fact that I had a designer block, but I think first of all, that's sort of natural. And also I know the like the cause of it because there was so much pressure on it sort of to come up with a cool idea. And also because I didn't really have enough time to work on it. Um, and yeah, therefore it didn't really feel as free as I normally feel when I'm designing a house. Um, I felt like, yeah, it just didn't work out the way I wanted to. Um, and I hope that will not happen too often. And generally I don't really often have a designer block and this house was actually not planned at all. I just build it. I That's the cool thing about design designing if you ask me. You just start with a blank page and sometimes you have like no idea what you're going to end up with. And then after like two or three hours, you have like a house or at least what's something that's starting to look like a house, which is super cool if you ask me. And that's also definitely what I like so much about designing. Um, so yeah, 
like I said, exams are going on right now. Actually, it's just one exam and one important paper or like report analysis I have to uh, hand in. Uh, because as you maybe know and maybe you don't, I'm currently or have this year just started studying architecture, which I'm liking a lot. And I actually had like my first exam or not, not my first exam, my first um, assignment for like the actual designing project that I'm going to be working on for the next couple of months as well. Um, because architecture is obviously not just designing, it's also technical stuff and being able to like calculate construction and materials and stuff. Um, so that's what I've been doing and that's also what I'll have to be doing the upcoming couple of, well, upcoming couple of days. I wanted to say weeks, but luckily it's Christmas soon, so I don't have to work on that again. But um, just a couple of days of construction um, exams that I have to do. Um, but the designing was seriously so much fun and that's sort of also risky because because I like it so much, I sort of end up spending way too much time on it if you get what i mean because you know i'm just so yeah so into it that i just want to continue working on it and the good thing is that i'm actually looking forward to working on like university assignments which isn't something everyone can say i guess and um yeah, it's just so much fun to work on it. And the teacher actually really liked it. I actually told him about what I do with YouTube and I, he thought it was sort of cool, but I think he doesn't really understand it yet and doesn't really get what I'm doing yet, but maybe sometime that will actually, he will understand what I'm doing. Um, but I noticed that we had an, assi uh, an assignment where we had to actually come up with floor plans. So in my case, I had to create a kitchen uh, a floor plan and then with a toilet and a hallway, a small hallway, because the first assignment is designing a bed and breakfast. And then you start off with sort of a team assignment or just some yeah, simple assignments to get yourself started and to get into the, like the idea of come up, uh, coming up with floor plans and stuff. Uh, so that's obvious. You of course have to first, you know, sort of get a feel of designing because we never officially really did it even though i feel like i have been designing a lot in the sims and i actually noticed that when creating the floor plans that because i've been designing so much or so many floor plans in the sims i actually find it easier to create actual floor plans or at, at least come up with them to draw sort of because we had to come up with combinations for a rectangular shape which is obviously like super easy because that's a normal shape but also for a triangle which is like super inconvenient and also a circle which makes you come up with sort of some sort of strange stupid inconvenient um, design but still is good to practice if you ask me but uh, se seriously because i've been designing so much in the sims and in like the past three years have probably designed like over a hundred uh, floor plans i seriously noticed that it was way easier for me to solve the problems you have when coming up with a floor plan um so yeah you might think that the sims is sort of not helping at all or at least you might think it's like it's a very small help but it does actually really make it easier and i did feel like there was some sort of advantage or something i don't know what it was but i feel or at least i know where the the problems are with designing floor plans and what to look out for and stuff i'm it's sort of hard to describe but maybe other architecture students who played the sims like intensively before they actually started studying it might recognize this and you probably understand what i'm saying even if you don't study architecture but yeah i really noticed that that like when i had that assignment which was sort of funny to notice um and i just really like it a lot so that's great and therefore I look forward to working on like those projects, but it's also sort of risky because therefore I do spend less time on other things, for instance, creating videos, which is definitely something I don't like. And I'm planning on when I'm after the Christmas holiday, having like full time working on the uh, design project that I really have to plan my time in order to make sure that I don't spend too much time on it because I also want to do my own projects beside it, also create like the YouTube videos, do other things. Um, so yeah, it will require quite some time management, I think, in order to um, yeah get everything done. But I guess it's in a good sense and not in the sense that I have to really struggle to get everything done. 
um, simply because I like it so much. But um, yeah, the reason, by the way, I should talk about the bolt a little bit probably. And by now the shape has mainly been decided. Uh, it was sort of hard to come up with it. It also took quite some time. Normally after like 10 minutes sped up time, which means like an hour, I do have like quite an idea of the shape already. Just like I do now, but it took quite some effort in order to get here sort of. Um, and you might think it's an overload of the blinds or the shutters, but I personally think it's pretty cool. And especially with the change of color, so you've got the black and white ones, um, which is also the reason that I've decided to call it perspective, because the building literally changes every step you like take around it. So when you walk around it, it looks different all the time, simply because uh, those blinds look different because of the colors. So from the side, they are white and from the front, they're black. So if you look at the um, house like straight onto it, you see the black blinds. But if you look at, at it from the side, you only see the white. So therefore it is different from every perspective, which personally I thought it was sort of a cool name. Normally I don't really come up with cool names and I just end up with the name Modern House number two or just tropical house modern tropical house something like that but this time i felt like this was sort of a cool name i'm not too sure if it does it like well on youtube because in the end like modern house is something everyone wants to click on sort of and with like perspective it's sort of strange maybe so i hope people will watch it and um you can actually help with that if you leave a like on this video seriously this video it, it's like super good for the YouTube algorithm if you like the video because in that way it's good for engagement and more people watch it. And seriously, the more people watch this, the more motivated I am to upload videos. Uh, that's something I noticed with the last speed build I uploaded. I sort of struggled to get it online or at least I designed it, but like the point I got to the interior, I wasn't super into it anymore. And I was like, okay, I've got to finish this because I want to make the video, but I wasn't really stoked about it. That's different from this time to be honest, because I like this design more and it's more interesting to build. But when I saw all the super good comments on my latest speed build, I was like, okay, this is sort of the reason you do this. And it was super heartwarming actually to see so many people like it. Also the like dislike ratio was crazy. It was, at some point, 720 likes against zero dislikes, which is a ratio everyone on YouTube is probably like jealous of because like there's always trolls out there who dislike your videos, even if they might, they're just jealous or whatever. There's always dislikes, which doesn't hit me, but whenever there's no, that sort of hits me in like the opposite direction. And I'm like, holy shit, that's actually super cool that no one even takes the effort to dislike the video and yeah, that sort of means that they still actually find the video cool or the troll was asleep at the moment I was uploading, which is probably the case, but um, that was super cool. So please make that happen again this time, or at least maybe not with the dislikes, but just you know as many likes as possible, because like I said, that is super good for the YouTube algorithm. And I am planning on, uh, or I have the plan to spend this uh, upcoming holiday, this Christmas holiday to really reinvent my channel sort of. And I know that I've been saying that a lot, like even for the past couple of years, maybe seriously, the past couple of years, I've not been super like inventive if, you, if I am honest about my channel. Um, and I've been sort of doing what everyone is doing. And you know, I'm. it's starting to get to that point that I actually noticed that I'm not doing anything super like special, I guess, because um, like back in the day, it was sort of special if you uploaded Sims YouTube videos. And nowadays, like nearly everyone is making Sims YouTube videos. So I really have to realize that you've got to step up your game sort of to keep up with like other creators, I guess. And it is super inspiring to see other people coming up with ideas, but it's sort of hard to come up with your own ideas in that way. Um, but I am planning on like sort of changing the channel a little bit, maybe turning it more into a design channel, also with more SketchUp, that's the plan. And uh, maybe we'll, yeah, I'm, I actually haven't really come up with a plan yet. I'm just still brainstorming about it, but just know that I am planning on stepping up the game sort of. So uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, uh, which would be super cool. And also recently I actually re actually realized that my um, golden play, not golden, I wish. No, silver plague is coming, which in case you are not super familiar with YouTube, 
uh, once the channel hits 100,000 subscribers, you are able to order your 100,000 uh, subscribers silver play button, which is literally an award for hitting that many subscribers, which is like the the number one goal for a YouTuber sort of. And I actually, when I started creating videos, I had no idea that that was actually a thing. I had no idea that anyone would ever watch my video uh, videos. I literally didn't know what subscribers were. I, I had no idea. And then a friend of mine, when I created my channel and we were looking at it and he was giving tips because he was more familiar with watching YouTube, so he knew more about it. He said like, oh wow, this, there was a channel with, I believe, 2,000 subscribers who subscribed to me. And he was like, that's actually good because he's got like people who watch his videos regularly. And then maybe he can say something about your channel or something like that. And I had no idea that that was the way it worked. Um, so that was super cool. And when I started, I was so unknowing about it. And now I like know super much about YouTube after like five years of doing it. And it's such a, yeah, I sort of, this is seriously something I'm, proud of sort of because I worked hard for this and there's just not many people who like it's super easy to give up on YouTube and you really have to sort of go on also in times when it's not easy to continue working on it um, and therefore this is really something I'm proud of and I think that 100,000 subscriber play button is actually something that sort of stresses that or that actually like is it is a sign of respect sort of from YouTube for reaching that, even though I know super many people have 100,000 subscribers nowadays, but still it's sort of cool. And uh, I just realized that that is actually coming maybe before the end of this year, because the shipping time is like six to 12 weeks, I believe. And I ordered it a couple of months ago, so it should be there. Like they, I believe they've got like shipment um, flow sort of, so, they only ship them a couple of times a year. Uh, and I'm not sure if it was like at the beginning, at the positive or the negative side of such a shipping a shipment flow. Uh, if that's what you call it, probably not, but I've just come up with a new term. Um, but yeah, I'm super pumped to actually have that like on my desk shining. Uh, but a little bit more about the house. I should probably mention what I'm doing in the next video as well. That is the interior. And seriously, I'm building the most badass master bedroom I've ever created in a house. Seriously, it's crazy. And I'm super, like I was building it and I realized why haven't I done this sooner? Why haven't I done such a cool master bedroom beforehand? And it actually has made me much more excited about making bedrooms in general. Because this bedroom has like the an actual true walk-in closet with an ensuite bathroom, which is super cool and you can walk around it. And it's like such a typical, super cool bedroom, which sort of fit this house, if you ask me, because it is sort of a, like a super modern and luxurious house. Um, especially the pool is interesting as well because it's sort of above like the regular floor level, I guess. Um, so it sort of seems like a super big modern bathtub. Uh, which sort of is this, yeah, doesn't sound too nice to call it because that it is like way nicer than a bathtub, but that's sort of what you could describe it as, I guess. Um, but generally, this is just like sort of a crazy modern house and I hope you like it. You can download it once I finish the interior. So uh, be sure to check that out. You can follow me on the gallery as well, I believe. It's possible to follow me there. My name is Dutch Sims Master and then in that way you, also stay up to date with when I upload new houses, but generally that doesn't really matter too much, you know. It's just important that you know that you can download them uh, so that you are able to enjoy it. Uh, but I'm not actually looking at the stats of like uploading my houses there. Like it's not like hoping to get as many views on the video as like that's just a big difference sort of. Uh, I'm just uploading their, them there because that's the most convenient way for you to download it. And in that way, like many people can use it, which is fun because I can imagine that if you are not really good at building houses or you don't really like to do so, or you don't have time or whatever, that it is fun to be able to use like interesting builds from others. Um, so yeah, therefore I really like to upload them and also see like comments about that and people who use it and sometimes suggestions what I can improve on 
Um, even though luckily I don't get too many comments about the fact that my interiors are often like super inconvenient. Though I must say that this house has like quite a good interior. There was something I stumbled upon while creating it which I realized okay if I would actually build this in real life this would be like a big problem and I should have thought about it better. But you know this is not going to be built in real life ever so that doesn't really matter. And um, yeah still the house. Yeah, with houses in The Sims, I always think about the exterior and like I'm trying to, I do think about the interior a little bit while building it, more like of sizes generally to try to not make like parts of the house which are too small so that you can't make a room of it. But generally, I don't really think about interior too much. Um, whereas with SketchUp, I do think of the floor plan more than I do with The Sims. And maybe I recently saw a super interesting uh, challenge by Delicracy who did like another way around a uh, speed build where she first did the interior but literally yeah it was just a reverse speed build or not a speed build just a regular reverse build and that is something I really want to try so I'm thinking of recording that um, like that challenge someday because it is an actual challenge and in that way I'm actually turning into a true YouTube channel because in that way I'm doing challenges which is what every YouTuber does but that one actually seemed like was super interesting if you ask me or at least it was a, I just really wanted to try it out so why not just record a video of it then so maybe that is coming but I might have to do face cam then and then I've got to make sure that I've got a camera to record that and all that kind of stuff it takes a little bit more time to do that sort of um but yeah maybe that is coming also if you're watching this until the end uh let me know that you did by um by commenting snowman that's a, that's a fun comment uh, that was super cool to read in the last comments as well i asked you to comment panda in the comments and like so many of you did so which made me realize that many of you actually do watch the video until the end though there are probably also people who just comment the others in the comment section uh, or copy the others in the comment section i'm not sure if i said that but i just wanted to make sure i thought i said who comment the others in the comment section which isn't right but yeah if you've watched this video until the end make sure that you comment snowman or the snowman emoji which is super fine as well and then i want to thank you for watching this video don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and also follow me on instagram because in that way we can hit that 3k and then don't forget that the second episode of the speed build is coming at you in like a couple of days i'm going to be doing uh, going to be doing my best to finish it up as soon as i can so yeah take care and have fun with uh, your weeks like or the couple of days before christmas the the rest of the speed build will be up before christmas by the way no worries about that but um yeah have fun buying christmas presents already and then i hope to see you in the next video which is part two of the speed build goodbye